I know I probably look crazy right now, bro. My hair is all over the place, bro. My eyes are puffy, but that's because I just woke up, bro. I literally just woke up and came straight to the game to start recording because we got a huge day today. Oh my gosh. I want y'all to clap it up for me and say good morning, even though y'all gonna see this video at nighttime, but just say good morning. Good morning to Eli Mac, you know what I'm saying? Not only that, good morning to the Mac Daddy. Listen, bro, this is the legendary Mac Daddy Turtle, bro. He's my good luck charm. I'll always bring him out in the playoffs. And if you take a look at the screen, bro, not only are we in the playoffs, but we are here about to do something crazy, bro. And if you look on the right side of the screen, you see on freaking, uh, what is this, Twitter or Instagram or something, this guy named Charles Davis at EA, he said something interesting. He said, college award, check. Repeatedly taking his team to the playoffs, check. Mac Daddy is checking all off of the boxes, bro. And listen, that just made me sit here and want to reminisce, bro. Like, damn, think about how we started and look at where we are now, bro. The Mac Daddy is from the hood, bro. You guys know he wears number 11 on his jersey because 11 is the age that he was when his father passed away and he's representing for his deceased father. And you guys know it closely relates to me in my life. You know what I'm saying? My father passed away in 2020. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, it, it, I, try, I, try to, I try to make the characters kind of close to my real life. You know what I'm saying? He was born in the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? The Mac Daddy, just like me. He grew up, didn't have that much money, just like me. He's trying to make it out the hood, bro. He's trying to figure out a way to make it, and he goes crazy. He goes all the way to freaking college, and his freshman year, he's playing for the Miami Hurricanes, and he gets no playing time, bro, and he feels like his life is over, bro. And then in his sophomore year, he gets PT, and he goes absolutely insane. He wins a Heisman. He makes it all the way to the national championship, but he loses to freaking Alabama, which sucks, but at least he made it. He broke every single record for passing yards and freaking passing touchdowns and everything for a college freaking quarterback of all time and then he went into the transfer portal went to georgia got another heisman not only that he won the national championship that year and he broke all of the freaking rushing records bro of all time bro so he has all the records for passing and rushing in college he has two heismans a national championship and yeah that was his junior year and guess what bro he didn't even play a senior year he did so damn good that the freaking nfl said we want you bro and he declared for the nfl draft and he changed his life and his family's life and was able to make millions of dollars by signing that freaking contract with the Denver Broncos and being a rookie and playing for the freaking Denver Broncos in the NFL. But in his rookie year, bro, don't get me wrong, he had a freaking great year, the best rookie of all time. I won rookie of the year, went absolutely insane, but we made it all the way this far before, bro. Just right now, bro, the AFC Championship game, we got to the game right before the Super Bowl and lost to the Cincinnati Bengals, bro. So the Mac Daddy knows what it feels like to be here, bro. So yes, Charles Davis said college awards, check. Taking his team to the playoffs, check. I'm checking off all the boxes, but the box that I have not checked off yet is getting past the conference championship and getting to a Super Bowl. And I definitely have not checked off the winning a Super Bowl box yet, which I really want to check out. Speaking of Twitter, bro, let's see what else they talk about. Conference championship, not sure which game is together or, or which game is tougher, whatever. Oh, ESPN said it all comes down to this the broncos and the bills face off tonight for the afc championship on twitter they're basically talking about how the mac daddy has a lot to prove right now and it's very true and it's crazy because the team we're playing against is a really good team the freaking bills bro but as you see bro first thing we got to do is we got a conference championship prep let's see who wants to talk to us you know people always want to talk to you when you're doing your thing bro so let's see what they saying man we in coach's office right now okay is the coach conference championship i don't need to tell you how big this is i know coach we made it this far last year i know no sir i'm ready but buffalo is a tough place to play <sighs> i know a lot of you guys were saying to change the hair color on my on the Mac Daddy 2D. I think I really should. I've seen like three people say that. It isn't an easy place to play. Just need to block it. So how are you feeling about the matchup? Oh man, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm a little bit worried about their defense, bro, because the Bills are pretty good, bro. I'll be honest. I'm a little worried about their defense. I gotta be honest with you, coach. Just stay alert. They're a talented unit. Okay, I got you. They've got playmakers like Cole Bishop and Greg Russell. Yeah, they look real good on tape. Yeah, bro, the back daddy's been watching tape, bro. Just stay sharp out there, I believe in you. Thank you, coach, I appreciate it. Let's go have a good week of practice. All right, bet, coach, I got you, bro. We locked in, bro. Plus 10 awareness for the entire offense for one game. We need this win to make it to the Super Bowl, bro. There's only one team that stands between us and that potentially winning that freaking Lombardi trophy, and that is this team right here, bro, the Buffalo Bills. We got called out by a star player, so let's see who's talking trash real quick. I hate when people talk trash on the internet before a game, and then when I blow them out they'd be all sad and hurt but hurt bro all right we in the weight room right now in the playoffs let's go please be cd lamb i like talking to cd yes sir it is mac tough challenge this week against buffalo i know bro it's playoff football i expect nothing less exactly bro real spill you know what i'm saying 
Just watch out for Greg Russell on their D-line. He's been a nightmare all year, dude. Ah, oh, I hate people with a good pass rush. I'm going to say, um, I'm going to have to trust myself. I don't really trust my O-line, but I'll be able to shake and move if I have to. You know I'm prepared. I'll make it tough for him to get to me. Well, I'll do my part to get open. Hey, I need you, CD. Get open, bro. I appreciate that. Let's stay on the same page and get this W. Yes, sir. Plus 10 throwing a run for my next game. Oh, my gosh. That puts me at like a 99 plus throwing, uh, throwing a run. Oh, shoot. Greg Rasul got his X factor for the entire game, bro. And he's on defense, which is really bad. That means that he's going to be chasing me down and hawking me down, bro. All right, man. If we look at the playoff bracket, bro, you see, man, this has been a crazy, grueling playoffs. The freaking Chiefs lost to the Patriots, bro, which was unexpected, but it was a close game. And then the Bills ended up blowing them out, of course. You know what I'm saying? The Ravens lost to the, I beat the Bengals, which is crazy because that's the Bengals, the team that beat us last year this far. So, and it was a pretty big win too. And then we came in and we ended up blowing them out. You know what I'm saying? And then we had a really close game with the Colts over there. And so now that leads us here to the Bills. Now, if we look on this side, the Green Bay Packers lost to the Cardinals by three points, which was a crazy loss. We really thought they were going to win. You know what I'm saying? San Francisco blew out the Rams. Makes sense. And the Eagles blew out the Falcons. That also makes sense. But then the Eagles came and had a super close game, bro. Three-point win against the freaking 49ers, which, hey, man, that game could have went either way, bro. They're both great units and great freaking franchises, bro. So it makes sense. And then the Cowboys blew out the Cardinals. That's, like, pretty obvious. That was going to happen. So now the Cowboys and the Eagles got to play each other. Now, if we win this game, we're either going to play the Cowboys or the Eagles in the Super Bowl, which is crazy because the Cowboys is CeeDee Lamb's old team, and they freaking traded CeeDee Lamb away after they won a Super Bowl last year. They're Super Bowl contend they, They're the champions from last year, bro. You know what I'm saying? And the Eagles, I'm a Giants fan in real life, so I absolutely hate the Eagles. So whoever I play, and I hate the Cowboys too. Whoever I play, I'm going to hate them. So we'll see what happens, bro. But that's if I can even get past this game, bro. As you see, man, this team had a hell of a record, bro. We're both 86 overalls, but they went 15-2. and two. They only lost two games this whole season. They do not know what it feels like to lose. They've only lost twice, bro. They are a really, really good unit, bro. They have Josh Allen, who've been going crazy. 4,600 yards, 43 touchdowns, 96 overall. Josh Allen has been playing amazing football right now. And, um, you know, it all comes down to this, man. No more talking. You know, I try to, you know, you know, guys, I, I try to do a lot of talking before games. It's really like a nervous thing for me, like trying to just get all the nerves out. But it doesn't really fully work. So at the end of the day, we still got to come out here and play. Yeah, bro, I want to kick the ball away first. I want them to get ball. I want to see what they do with it. And um, we're going to wear some cool uniforms, you know what I'm saying, just because we might as well, man, as a playoffs, it might be our last game, man. So we might as well go out with a bang. <sighs> you see the Mac Daddy coming out here, bro. New hairstyle and all, man. You see CeeDee Lamb. He's ready, bro. And Josh freaking Allen, bro. Ah, oh, man, bro. Oh, they got that boy Coleman. Damn, this is going to be a tough game right here. The matchup of the freaking year, bro. This is the Bills versus the Broncos. The Bills are a really good team. We are definitely underdogs. The Bills should win this game based off of everything, but... That's the thing about the Mac Daddy, man. You know, a lot of times, bro, people doubted me, bro. I've always been the underdog, bro. I've always been small. I've always been little. I've always been, nah, he can't do it. He's not good enough. He's not fast enough. And look at how far I've gotten with all the doubt now. And there's no, look at this, man. He's hyping up his team. It is, it's no different, bro. It's just another day out here playing football, man. So let's come out here and go crazy. We're playing against Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. They get ball first and they come out and, of course, they score. See? That's why I said I like when the other team gets the ball first because you get to see exactly what they're made of and you see the Mac Daddy coming out here knowing this is a tall task in front of him, knowing this is going to be a hard task in front of him, and the task is to come out here and beat the Buffalo Bills somehow. Oh, man, bro. They, they have a really good team, man. I've been around the Buffalo Bills in real life. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my gosh, Mac Daddy. Mac Daddy, let's go. Let's go. Oh, Mac Daddy, let's go. Good run. Good freaking first run. That's how you set it off, bro. But like I was saying, I've been around the Bills, Bills Mafia in real life. You know what I'm saying? I hung out with Josh Allen. Big shout out to EA. That drum was lit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, bro, the Bills Mafia is a very, very passionate group of uh, freaking fans. Oh, my gosh. Big play, Mims Jr. Stop playing. We all know what's on the line right now. We all know what's on the freaking line right now. What's that Super Bowl, bro? We trying to get to that damn Super Bowl, bro. Ain't no more. Ain't no more crying and complaining like a little girl, bro. Ain't no more. You know what, bro? I can't bleep this, bro. But I got a second. I got it off my chest. Ain't no more. Ain't no more crying, and, bro. We getting light. We getting right, bro. I'm excuse my language, bro. But I'm hyped up, bro. I'm hyped up, bro. Let's go, CD. Let's stop playing. Let's go, CD. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling good on this first drive right now, bro. I just woke up, bro. It's nine o'clock in the morning, bro. I'm turned up right after this. I'm going to the gym in real life, and I just got some fishing rods too, bro. I'm going fishing uh, today too, bro. You know what I'm saying? I went fishing for the first time yesterday. I ain't catching nothing, but today I'm gonna catch something, bro. We going crazy, bro. Let's go. Let's get the drum right. Come on. Oh, touchdown. Oh my gosh. Stop playing with us. Mims Jr. having an absolute crazy first drive, bro. 7-7. Seven seven. Y'all want to score? We going to score two. Y'all want to score? We going to score two. Ah, uh, shoot, man. They came out and they scored again, bro. But 
what, what can you expect, bro? They're 15 and two. This is the best team in the league. One of the best teams in the league, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're the best team in the playoffs right now, for sure. Record wise and everything. Maybe the Cowboys might be a little bit better. I don't know, but this team is really good. And uh, yeah, bro, like I said, man, look, CD Lamb, he knows what it feels like to go to Super Bowl. He went to the Super Bowl and won it last year with the Cowboys, bro. He's literally a Super Bowl champion. Look at him. Oh, damn, I missed him, bro. That was on me. But he's a Super Bowl champion. He won the Super Bowl last year, bro. So he knows what it feels like to get to that freaking big game and win it. And the thing is, oh my gosh, Mims, uh, Gainwell's wide open. Gainwell's wide open. Wide open? Why was he wide open? No, oh my gosh, that's blown coverage. But like I said, since he was there last year, bro, and he won, it's crazy that they dropped him, bro. The Cowboys literally dropped CD Lamb, bro, which is so disrespectful, bro. This guy helped you win a Super Bowl, bro. He was probably one of the reasons you got to the Super Bowl last year. Because if we go to the Super Bowl this year, if we win this game, CD Lamb will definitely be one of the reasons why we did. You know what I'm saying? He's just him. Mims Jr. with another touchdown in the freaking playoffs, showing off, getting wide open in the game before the Super Bowl. That's what I love to see. Oh, shoot. We played good defense. Fire Finally, they did not score, so we got the ball right back. And listen, bro, getting back on that CD Lamb topic, you know, one thing that they that, that, that we didn't talk about, you know, I was gonna keep this conversation private, you know what I'm saying? Because like, you know, like not everything has to go on camera, bro. But I'm, I'm gonna just talk about it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Before the game in the locker room, CD Lamb had a heartfelt talk with us, bro, and he cried, bro. He was literally tearing up, bro. Like literally, like I know you probably can't imagine a grown man with dreads crying, but he was crying, bro. And we was like, yo, what's wrong? He's like, listen, man, I've been here before. And it's the best feeling in the world to host that trophy, bro, and get that ring. And I just want you guys to know that I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that we get that ring. I know I got one already, but I know a lot of you guys don't have one. And, it's, and a lot of you guys probably will never have one if we don't get it this year. This might be the only chance to get it, bro. You never know, bro. I went and got one, and I got dropped from my team, bro. So the thing is, bro, anything can happen, bro. So I just want you guys to just go out there and try your hardest. And I want you to know that I'm going to be putting on a full freaking clinic to make sure that we get that ring, bro. And I appreciated him for that, bro. It was really sad we all teared up, but it was tears of happiness, tears of joy. And uh, we're coming out here with a lot of passion, and we're ready to come out here and have a great freaking day and a great freaking game. Mims Jr., oh, that was a flag, dude. That should have been a flag, but they was holding my mans, bro. All right, man, 14 to 14. Oh, my gosh, they're sending the pressure. They're sending that pressure. Go, 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 go. I told you. What did I say? What did I tell CeeDee Lamb before the game? I said, I'm going to make it hard for him to catch me. I said, I'm going to make it hard for him to catch me. Come on, bro. I'm better than Lamar Jackson. I'm better than Patrick Mahomes. I'm better than Michael Vick. I'm better than RG3. I'm better than freaking every running quarterback ever. CeeDee Lamb wide open. Go. That's my dog for show. Oh, he didn't score. Oh, my gosh. I thought he was going to score. He didn't score. All right, come on, come on. We got to hurry up. 30 seconds left. We're going to let the clock run down a little bit, though. You know what I'm saying? Just so we can score and then get the ball back at halftime. This will be great for us. CeeDee Lamb, good freaking catch. Way to secure the ball. 21 to 14. Oh my gosh, what a game and what a day right now for my receiver. CeeDee Lamb and Mims Jr. is putting on an absolute clinic with catching this damn ball. All right, man. 21 to 21, bro. We got a tied ball game right now, bro. All right, we definitely got to come out and start playing back aggressive like we was playing earlier and try to score this ball as much as possible instead of just running the clock out. It's not going to work. All right, let's go. Let's go, Mims Jr. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, Mims Jr. Oh, damn, Mims Jr. with the crazy stiff arm, bro. Wait a freaking stiff arm, that bum. Showing just how bad you want it, bro. Let's go. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Get it, get it, get it. Ah, oh, that's not a pass interference, bro. Come on, man. Let's get this drone rocket. There it is. CD Lamb wide open. CD Lamb wide open. That's it, bro. Now we can start playing smarter because we can really get out of here with a field goal if we play the clock correctly. Oh, we got an injury. One of our linemen got injured. I don't care, man. Honestly, bro. Right now it's about getting to the Super Bowl, bro. If we have to go in there with a whole injured freaking lineup. Oh, my gosh, bro. Y'all got to block better, man. Oh, shoot, bro. Go get it. Good catch, Mims. Oh, man, this is a big play right here. Let's get to the two-minute warning. We need a first down because if we don't get the first, coach is going to make us take a three. Like, the game is just going to, like, the AI is going to make me take a three, bro. And if they make us take a three, that's going to be bad because then the other team is going to come out here and most likely, you know what I'm saying, get a touchdown and then we're still losing and we got to make a clutch comeback, which I do not feel like doing. Let's go. There it is. There it is. Get the touchdown. Touchdown. Ah, okay. We're on the one yard line, though. Oh, we scored. We scored. Let's go. We scored. Okay, I didn't even notice we scored. Let's freaking go, bro. Big touchdown, baby. Let's go. And they did not score. Oh, my gosh. This is it, bro. This is it. This, this, this is the drive that can send us to the Super Bowl. Let's go. They got to use all their timeouts. And we're really close so we can get a field goal. Worst thing worse. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. What a beautiful run. Let's go. Second and one. Let's go. Make them lose all their timeouts, bro. Let's go, bro. Let's get this first down. We're going to do a fullback run. Try to secure this first down as best as possible. First down and we win. Uh, did we get it? Yes. First down. We're about to go to the Super Bowl, bro. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, I think we're gonna go. All right, last time out. Come on, we can take knees now, right? You know what? I'm gonna try something crazy. I'm gonna try something crazy. Oh, I tried it. All right, let's let this clock run down all the way, bro. Let's go. CD Lamb. CD Lamb, get the first. There it is. There it is. We ain't taking no easy way out. We getting that first down, and we're taking the knee. We're going to the soup. We going to the soup. We going to, hold on, let me let, 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 me let the clock run all the way out. Let me let the clock run all the way out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go, three, two, one. Let's go. Hey, we beat the Bills. We beat the Bills. We beat the Bills. Let's freaking go. Look at us, bro. That's another team we take down. Yes, sir. Take a look at us. Oh, my gosh. The Mac Daddy had an absolutely amazing freaking game. 284 yards, four touchdowns, 38 rushing yards. We went crazy, bro. We got to the Super Bowl, bro. We've never made it this far. Take a look at the squad going crazy, bro. We are so happy because we know we are going to the Super Bowl. Oh my gosh, the Broncos have not been to the Super Bowl since 2016, bro. It's been almost 10 years, and the Mac Daddy led the squad to the Super Bowl, bro. Take a look, Ryan Clark said pressure makes diamonds, and looks like Mac Daddy wants that ring. Hashtag Super Bowl bound. Broncos just walked into that place like they owned it, and now they're going to the hashtag Super Bowl. Dan Orblowski said that. Let's go ahead and address the media. Oh my goodness, bro. This is freaking crazy, bro. What the heck, bro? Mac, you're Super Bowl bound. How does it feel to hear that, man? It feels good, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna say, I, I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm so proud of this team, man, because I really am. I'm proud of everyone, Coach Gaffney, the staff, my teammates, and especially the fans. You know what I mean? We've made it this far, bro. Before we ask about the next game, how do you think you played against the Bills? Oh, good question, man. I think I did really good, bro. I said uh, nothing was gonna stop us, bro. We we came out hot, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Coach Gaffney had the right game plan and we executed. I totally agree, bro. One game left, Mac. What can we expect out of you? I'm gonna say uh, my eye is on that MVP, though. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Every time I do something, I try to do it the best. Expect to see MVP numbers from me. Yeah, that's a fact. I know I might sound a little cocky, but I'm gonna just be real, bro. I plan on leading this team to the Super Bowl win, bro. Let's do it, bro. We gonna go out there. Everybody's on my back. I got us, bro. Thank you. Go Broncos. Let's go. I got the team on my back. Plus 1,000 development XP. Oh my gosh. And if you look, the Cowboys are in the Super Bowl again, back to back. The Cowboys are literally in the Super Bowl for the second time in a row, trying to get a repeat, bro. Trying to get back to back Super Bowls, bro, which is really tough to do in this league. Oh man, I'm gonna see y'all on the next one. It's gonna be a crazy episode, man. It's your boy Eli Mack, gang, gang.